Hey, what's going on guys? Knoxville 363. Today I will be doing a tutorial video on how to replace a laptop screen on your Samsung NP QX410, my, my particular model is the NP QX410 SO2 US. Okay, it's very, very simple. It takes about 10 minutes and all you need is a sm very, very small Phillips screwdriver. Now, as you can see, I cracked my screen right here up in the upper hand corner. So I was left with just half a screen. As you can see, this one's really damaged. So you have two types of finishes. This one is a matte finish, and the one I purchased was a glossy finish. The glossy finish was $20 cheaper, so I went with that because this will no longer be my primary computer. So I'm gonna show you guys how to swap it out. Let me make sure that I can see myself. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is, now I have the new screen on there, but I'm gonna show you guys what to take apart. On the upper and lower portions of your screen, you will see these black sticky things that can easily be removed with your fingertip. Now, when I got done taking mine off, I put mine right here just so I would not lose them, which I would advise you guys to do. Now, the parts you are taking apart are these very, very small screws. Okay, that's how small they are. Now, all you gotta do is take out four, one, there's two on the bottom, and there's two on the top. All right, let me move this just so I can show you guys all up in the corners, okay? Now, the hardest and most time consuming part, and I recommend that you put them in a small plastic baggie so you do not lose them. The hardest part of this whole process is actually taking this piece off right here. So now what you have to do is, let me angle this up just a little bit. Okay. Um, the way my computer fell, it made it a lot easier because it knocked out this portion of the screen. You can either use your fingernail or you can use a very small flathead screwdriver and just kind of run your finger and you'll hear this, this portion pop out, the clips you will actually be taking out. So now when it gets down to about like right here after you have disassembled all of the clips, you're gonna be left with these two hinges, all right? And these are the worst to get out. So now see, I got this already stuck because of me putting it back on for the purpose of this video. How I got it out was I was using a flathead screwdriver to pull it up. So let me, Give me a couple seconds here and see if I can get this portion back up. Now you wanna be careful because you can scratch your computer like I did already. So use caution when you're doing this part. Okay, now I finally got it out. Like I said, that will be your hardest part of this whole process. All I simply did was I took a flat head and I went in on the insides right here, not on the outside. Be careful because there's cords there that you do not want to puncture or rip. All right, so once again, you just take it, you put it in on the side and just kind of ease up on it and eventually the clips will come out. All right, so now once we have this front cover off, you'll have your screen. Okay, now you're gonna have four more screws Zoom out a little bit. All right, you're gonna have two here up at the top and two here on the bottom, all right? So now, once again, be careful with your screws. Now, the only thing that's different about this portion right here is that you have to take out the brackets. Now, I have mine in front just because I needed to secure my screen. So once you take these out, and make sure your computer is powered off once again because there is always the possibility of shocking you and I don't think you want to do that. See, so luckily it held on to it, otherwise I would have lost that one. So once I'm done with this, you'll be able to pull the screen down. All right, so now how it looks grab on the screen make sure it don't come off okay now be very very careful with the new one it doesn't make a difference about this one 
All right. So now when you when you go to install the new one, you just lay it flat right here on your keyboard. All right. Now let me zoom in and I'll show you guys. All right. This is another very important part. Very easy though. Let me just angle that back a little bit. And here's where your computer actually connects to it. All right. Now on the very top, you hear that? That's the tape. All right. Just go on top, pull it back, and then you just disconnect this cable. Be very, very careful because these pins are fragile. Now, oops, sorry. All you got to do after this point is just obviously pull it out and then take your new screen, which is pretty sweet that they give you this plastic film. All right. Now lay your, lay your new screen flat on your keyboard and it gives you just enough room where you don't have to worry about it being stretched or anything. So just gently feed it into there and push in to make sure that it is secure. Okay. Now, once it is back out, let me pan back up here really quick and I'll show you guys the next step. Now, once your new screen is in, see these brackets right here, you gotta make sure yours will already be out, but see how these come, come out a little bit? Now, what you do is you lay your screen on top and make sure that the brackets are in front. That's what holds your screen up when you're closing your laptop and everything. All right, so now once they are on top, go ahead and put the screws back in. All right, so I just got done putting the screws back in. Now once again, make sure that the bracket is, let me move it. This bracket right here, that this is in front. Because like I said, this is what holds your screen in, okay? So there will be that one, that screw, that goes on the outside. It's not going to fit in that one. Same thing on the other side. And on the bottom, now it does not go, okay, there's going to be this one, and then there's obviously going to be one on the other side. Make sure that your screen is completely secured on it. And you can test it at this point if you want. You should be able to close and open your laptop without your screen falling down, obviously. Now, the last step is to put this case back on top of your screen and with the last four screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my cover here real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's all cleaned up and it pretty much will attach itself. Just be careful that you got everything from behind it so you don't have to take this, port, this part off again. So just gently seat it back and they snap into place just like that. Now this part, just simply press and they will all start snapping back into place. Like I said, um, mine, my son dropped my laptop, so this section's all bent, as you can see. So now that's pretty much it. Now all we have to do is our last four screws that go on two on top, two on the bottom. And I will be right back after I put these back in. All right, so I got done putting the screws. And now just putting these sticky pads back over for the, to cover up the screw holes and back to brand new. And as you can see, the, now I have full screen. Um, just to show you guys really quick what it looked like beforehand when it, when it fell. Now what I had to do was, if you drop your computer and that's the reason why you are replacing the screen, make sure that like I had to use a set of needle nose pliers that I had to bend this back out so this, this particular corner can get pushed back. Um, and to get this part back in, if it's not snapping all the way, now be very, very careful. Go on the outer, outer edge, okay? And just push, and you'll hear it snap back into place the way it's supposed to be, like that one just went in right now. The last portion that I have that doesn't seem to want to go back in, but Obviously, you guys get the point. It's this bottom half right here. But other than that, 
Um, obviously, it works now, and now I have my laptop back, which I'm very, very happy about. I will put a link in the description to where I bought it from. I bought my screen from LaptopScreens.com, and they were the cheapest that I that I saw. And that's just to show you guys what it looked like. If you, I did post a video really, really uh, short beforehand just to show what it looked like and that's the best way I could describe it. Uh, I had half a screen, like I said, when he pushed it off the table, this edge smacked the ground. So there it is, very, very simple, and it takes every bit of 10 minutes. The hardest part is just getting this particular section off. Once again, you just run your fingers off, and these bottom hooks, you go in from the inside, because be careful, because there are wires that feed from the base to the top. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I will put a link in the description. If you don't have this computer, they still have all the other laptops available. So thanks again for watching.